Under culture media, the first type we have is simple or basal media. It is simple because it contains minimum ingredients and it is required to culture non-fastidious bacteria. Non-fastidious bacteria are those bacteria that do not require special conditions or special nutrients to grow. They can, they can grow or they can be cultured in minimum nutrition that is available. So basal media can be used for non-fastidious bacteria. This right here is your nutrient agar. Nutrient agar is composed of nutrient broth plus agar which is used to make the medium solid. It's a hydrocolloid. Next, we have enriched media. Enriched media is nothing but your simple or basal media. Simple or basal media along with either egg or serum or seep blood. If it contains seep blood, then that's your blood agar which appears red and opaque. Blood agar is used for culture of Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus. If you heat blood agar till the hemolysis of blood takes place, you get chocolate agar which is dark brown and opaque. It is used for culture of Haemophilus influenza, Neisseria gonorrhea, Neisseria meningitidis. This is your blood agar containing the colonies of Staphylococcus aureus showing beta hemolysis. Due to beta hemolysis, you can see a transparent zone that is created around the colonies. This transparent zone has been created due to the complete hemolysis. Next, we have selective media. Selective media is a solid media which contains inhibitory substance. So there's your solid media. This solid media contains inhibitory substance. This inhibitory substance inhibits the growth of bacteria that is not of our interest. As a result, the growth of bacteria that is of our interest takes place. For example, this green slope right here is Lewinstein Jensen media. Lewinstein Jensen media contains some inhibitory substance that inhibits the growth of other bacteria except, except Mycobacterium tuberculosis. That's why this medium can be used for culture of Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Next is differential media. Differential media is used to differentiate between two groups of bacteria using an indicator. For example, let's say you have a differential media right here. You put back the inoculate bacteria A. As a result, the indicator in this differential media changes in color. Similarly, you put bacteria or inoculate bacteria B in the same differential media. However, this time the color of the indicator does not change. In this way, you are able to separate bacteria A from bacteria B just by visualizing the change in color of the indicator of differential media. There are two that you need to know for uh, examination, for practical examination point of view. First is McConkie agar. McConkie agar uses the indicator neutral red. It is used to differentiate between two groups of bacteria, lactose fermenters and non-lactose fermenters. Lactose fermenters appear as pink colonies on the medium and non-lactose fermenters appear as colorless colonies on the medium. The McConkie agar is composed of peptone, lactose, agar, neutral red which is the indicator and torcolate. So here's your McConkie agar along with pink colonies of lactose fermenters. Here's your McConkie agar along with colorless colonies of non-lactose fermenters. The examples of which are given below. Okay, so another differential medium is clade agar or cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar. This is used as an alternate to McConkie for urine specimen. So this is also used to differentiate between lactose fermenter versus non-lactose fermenter. The indicator used is bromothymol blue. Remember, for McConkie agar, the indicator used is neutral red. For clade agar, the indicator used is bromothymol blue. Next is anaerobic culture media. It contains reducing substance that takes up oxygen, maintaining anaerobic condition so that anaerobic bacteria can grow. There are two. Robertson's cooked meat medium, 
which contains chopped beef heart and this chopped beef heart contains glutathione plus unsaturated fat this is used to culture anaerobic bacteria like clostridium perfringens and actinomyces second is brain heart infusion media which is a brain heart infusion broth which is also used for the culture of anaerobic bacteria all right here's a special type of agar which is called muller hinton agar this agar is used for antimicrobial susceptibility test by which method by kirby bars disk diffusion method in kirby bar disk diffusion method of antimicrobial susceptibility test you take the mh agar on mh agar you put these disks these disks are antibiotic disks these disks they diffuse as they diffuse they kill the bacteria around them or inhibit the growth of the bacteria around them present on inoculated on the agar creating an inhibitory zone so throughout this zone the bacterial growth has been inhibited by the diffusion of this antibiotic creating the zone of inhibition the size of antibiotic disc is around 6 mm finally there's your sda or saborod dextrose agar it is used for isolation of fungi it is used to culture dermatophytes yeast and various pathogenic and non pathogenic fungi like trichophyton rubrum microsporum canis epidermatophytum flocosum